People can learn so much from a story. I have a two-year-old grandson, and he is wonderful. If you've got any children at all, you know what I'm talking about. So, he's two-year-olds, and as two-year-olds are, they're just learning to talk, and often they used to get their way by crying. And so now we're encouraging him to ask for things and to communicate. Plus, his needs are much more complicated than just food and warmth and a cuddle. So he was just whining, and we had already offered him food, and he didn't want any food. And we'd already offered him to hold him, and he was like, ah, oh, just frustrated with life because he was done being held. But he did have his head on his grandma's lap, and he didn't want any toys. He's just bored, like play with me type bored, which at the time we were talking in the other room, and we were not, we were talking and not able to play with him at the time. And sometimes that happens. Well, he was just really whiny, and I thought to myself, what can we do to help him have a happy attitude? Because he had been whining for a long time. And so the thought occurred to me, give him a purpose. So I said to him, hey, go get Grandma a cucumber. And his eyes just lit up. You know, earlier that day, we had been out in the garden picking cucumbers. And he knew that in the kitchen, there was a cucumber, all washed and all cleaned, and it had been sliced up. And he ran into the kitchen to go get a slice of cucumber for Grandma. He had his purpose. He runs in the kitchen, and then immediately runs back out and says, Gampa, Gampa. Now, I knew he needed me. So I followed him into the kitchen, and sure enough, the plate of cucumbers was above his reach. He could just barely reach the, the counter, but he can't reach the plate of cucumbers on the counter. So I take the plate of cucumbers, and I lift it down for him. And he takes one and runs off and takes it to Grandma. Just one slice. I thought he might take the whole plate or he might take multiple, but no, he just took one and runs off to Grandma. And then, I'm sure she received it. I wasn't in the room, so I didn't see this part. But he runs back in, and by this time I had put the plate down and was leaving. And he says, Gampa, Gampa, and so, once again, I take the plate and lift it down for him, and he takes one more slice. And he runs off in to see Grandma in the other room. And then, as soon as she receives that from him, back he comes. Grandpa! <laughs> I had once again put the plate back down. So, he, I lift the plate back down for him, and this time, he takes one cucumber shoves it in his mouth. I'm lifting the plate up. He's got both hands up. And I lift the plate back down. He takes one for this fist and one for this fist and runs off. The happiest little guy ever. There's a lot of messages in this story for us. If we want to be truly happy in life, what messages can you find from that story that will help us find true happiness for ourselves. I'm going to make a series of videos and I want you, I'm probably going to end up telling you the messages that you can get out of there. But I like people to search for themselves and find the messages for themselves because it means more when you can find the answers yourself. And then I'll tell you and see if our answers match up. So this is the end of this video, and I'm going to make a series of videos, and then you can get the answers that you need from yourself, 
and from me because I, I love to help people help themselves. My name is Keith Allred. I'm a personal life coach, a mentor, and a trainer, and a public speaker. And I have a company called Empowerment Trainings, and I help train people find true joy and happiness. I help them build the best relationships ever. I get really funny when people say, how are, I say, how are your relationships? And they say, oh, they're good. And I'm like, oh, so that's nothing compared to what you could have if you really had an epic relationship. And so I really help people have epic relationships. I help them find their true purpose in life, follow their dreams, and make sure that their dreams match their purpose. That's huge. There's so many people who've actually found their dream and they're not happy, they're not satisfied because they missed the mark by not matching their dream to their purpose. I help people get better financial stability through that process and also uh, better health and better relationships. I already said relationships, but it's better social connections in more than just their family relationship, but social connections in every part of their life. So click like on my channel, follow these stories, and find your true purpose in your life. Thank you.